we are going to take a look at the distributive property um, and you can follow along and take your notes here on your doodle notes with the distributive property. So you will notice that with the word distributive property, they have bolded the word distribute. So distribute is the same as passing something out. So you are giving something to each person in a class if you were passing it out. In math, when you are distributing, distributing means to multiply. Distributing means to multiply. So you will multiply each part of the group. So if you look at your sheet, you have two, and the two is written next to the parenthesis. Since the two is written next to the parenthesis here, that is telling you to multiply. Inside of the parenthesis, you have two terms. You have a three and a seven. So I have to multiply each of those numbers by two. So I am going to multiply two times three, which is six. Then I'm going to put my addition sign. And then I also have to multiply two times seven, which is 14. And then I can simplify this expression if I want, and then six plus 14 would end up being 20. So these are equivalent expressions. They look different, but they have the same value. In the next, next example on the right, you will see they have 15 plus 45. So on this example, I have to figure out what am I multiplying by to get a product of 15 and 45. So in the parentheses, this would be 5 plus 15. And if I multiply each of those by 3 and then distribute, I will get 15 plus 45. You can see that 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 times 15 is 45. So those are equivalent expressions. In the last example, they're showing it with variables. They're saying a times the quantity so oftentimes when we have a set of parentheses, it's referred to as a quantity, which is an amount, B plus C. So I multiply A times B, which is just written as AB because I'm multiplying two variables. Then I'm going to put my addition symbol, and then I'm going to multiply A times C. And A times C is just AC. Now you're going to write a few other examples that are not on your sheet. So example number one is three times the quantity x plus seven. So to make an equivalent expression to that, I am going to distribute. I am going to multiply three times x, which is three x, plus, now I also have to distribute or pass out the three to the seven, so I'm going to multiply three times seven which is 21. So these again are equivalent expressions. In my next example, I have the set of parentheses first, y plus 3, and the number I'm going to multiply is actually to the right side of the parentheses. Since it's still written next to the parentheses, it still is telling you to multiply. It's just at the back and not in the front, but you're going to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply 4 times y, which is 4y, plus, and then I also have to multiply 4 times 3, which is 12. So my equivalent expression is 4y plus 12. In the last example, I have 6 times the quantity 2x plus 3. Inside the parentheses, I have a coefficient of 2 and a variable x. You are simply going to multiply 6 times the coefficient 2, which is 12, and then I'm going to put the x. So 6 times 2x is 12x, plus 6 times 3 is 18. So my equivalent expression is 12x plus 18.